Hi guys! Today I'm going to be going over how I created these galaxy inspired nails. These nails I'm going to be using for my makeup demo at IMATS. This is just a rough face chart of what I'm going to be creating on the day. Um, I thought I'd include this so you could see where my inspo for the nails has come from. I'll be using the same kind of colour scheme that's on the nails, so purple galaxy effect. And then as you can see for the eyebrow that I'm pointing at, they're going to be AB rhinestones. So that's why I've included those on the nails as well. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is grab some masking tape and tape all of the plain nails onto a surface that you don't mind getting messy. Because I've just had my nails done, I don't want to get any other nail polish or anything on there, so I'm going to be putting on some latex gloves. I'm then cutting up a cosmetic sponge into small little pieces. We'll be using this to kind of dab on different colours, so you're just going to want a couple of these. And I wouldn't bother wasting a full sponge, so the best thing to do is to just cut one sponge into a couple of little pieces. The first colour that I'm going in with is a dark purple from Barry M. I'm just starting off by randomly painting different sections of the nails. There's no order to this at all, it's just a little bit manic, popping a little bit of paint wherever I feel like doing it. Once I've put the first layer of varnish down, I'm then going back in over the top of all the areas that I've just done with a second coat just to make sure that the colour's nice and opaque. Once the purple's dry, I'm then doing the same thing again with a bright blue colour. This is also from Barry M. To blend the blue and purple polish together, I'm applying some blue polish to the end of one of the little sponges and I'm just stippling that where the two colours meet. In some areas, I'm adding more paint as I stipple. This way, the colour is going to be more opaque instead of being translucent. I'm doing this on every single nail and I'm just slowly building up the colour. I'm also adding a little bit of the blue on top of some of the purple areas as well. I'm now painting on and stippling a really dark blue. This blue has some glitter pigments in it as well. Because we are going for like a galaxy effect, I would say that using shimmery or glittery nail polishes really helps give off that effect. As well as using the sponge to stipple on the nail polish, I'm also using the brush from the polishers with not a lot of product on there, just so it leaves streak effects on the nails. I'm then adding this shimmery pink colour from Illamasqua. I'm still using the same techniques that I've been doing throughout the whole video. I'm basically just slowly building up different textures and different colours to create that galaxy effect. This next colour is a super bright, almost neon purple. I'm not sure why the camera's not registering that, but trust me, it is super bright. The trick here is to mix really bright colours, really dark colours, mattes, shimmers and glitters together. That way it's just going to look like one big swirly galaxy. Now I've pretty much finished applying all the colours, I'm then going to go back in with some of the colours that I started off with, just because as we've been building up the colours, they will be kind of disappearing, so we're just going to bring those back out. I'm then going to go in with some black nail polish, and this one is from Hot Topic. I'm still doing the exact same thing I've been doing throughout the whole video. I'm just painting on the polish and then stippling it all over the nail. Mm -hmm. 
once the black polish has dried, I'm then painting the whole of every single nail with this clear glitter polish. This polish has some really fine glitter in it, as well as some big chunks. That way, I think it's going to look like stars and like the galaxy. You know, girl, keeping in that galaxy theme. I'm kind of sad that my camera's not picking up any of the detail. Next time I do something like this, I will film on two different cameras, so I'll have one close up and one far away. But sorry about this video, I didn't realise that this is what it looked like. For this next part, I'm going to create my own really platinum silver nail varnish. I'm using the Graftobian powdered metal in silver and I'm mixing that in with clear nail polish. You could just use silver nail polish here if you wanted, but I really like the thickness and the texture of doing it this way. After I mixed the polish, I just applied that to the bottom of all of the nails. I'm doing this here because I'm going to be painting my model's hands silver so I want the nails to look as though they're just kind of forming out of the hands if that makes sense. I really want the nails and the hands to kind of blend in together. Once the silver varnish is dried I'm then applying a clear varnish over the top and I'm going to be sprinkling a little bit of holographic silver rainbow glitter on the base of the nails. You could use really cheap craft glitter for this, but I'm using my Ben Nye glitter because this is what I'll be using on my model's face, so I really want everything to match together. When I've finished with the glitter, I'm then just going over the top of the nails with a top coat just to seal the glitter in there. Once all the polish is dry, I'm then applying the AB rhinestones. I'm using nail glue to adhere these to the nails. I'm just sticking random sizes in random places and I'm using these rhinestones because I'll be using these for the eyebrows on my demo. So I know I've shown you how to do this on false nails, but if you wanted to do this on your natural nails, you would just put masking tape all around your finger so you wouldn't get any nail polish on there. So that's pretty much it for this Galaxy nail inspired tutorial. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!